Hi guys, so in this video we're going to take a look at how we can record MIDI from an arpeggiator so that we can then edit down the patterns even further and make them a bit more interesting than the, the standard patterns that we might get out of Live's arpeggiator. So this is the loop that we're working with. <music> So here's our arpeggiated pattern. We've got a simple chord in here. It's just a G minor chord, and that is then getting fed through a chord MIDI device and then the arpeggiator. So very, very simple stuff going on at the moment, 16th note pattern. And I could, of course, come in and start modulating different parameters in the ARP to get some changes and some interesting stuff going on. But it can be a bit hit and miss. And I much prefer instead to record the MIDI and then I can edit that down further. So very simple to do. Open up a new MIDI track and you want to look at your MIDI from box. If you can't see this, Command or I will show hide your inputs. And we're just literally going to take the MIDI from the track containing our arpeggiator. So in this case, it's the marimba sound. Put the monitor to in and let's hit record. And then I can hit the record button on any of these clips. And as you'll see, it will start playing and record that arpeggiated pattern for us. Now by using the stop button here, that's going to mean that live will stop recording tightly in sync with our global quantize, which we've currently got set to one bar. So when I press that, you can see I've now got a perfect four bar loop, which is ideal. And I can take this. This is now going to be our ARP. And I'll take the original chords and I'll just deactivate those with a zero button. This is Live 9, by the way. You could right click and select Deactivate if you're still working in Live 8. And so now we've actually got our ARP pattern. And of course, I don't need the chord or the ARP MIDI devices anymore because I've already recorded their output. So we should have exactly the same sound again. Of course, now we can come in and edit this further. And you can do anything that you want with this. I mean, it could be as simple as just coming in and I don't know, let's say we grab this note, we'll just do something at the end of the, the second bar here to get uh, a little change up going on. I'll just leave it at that just so you can get the idea. And of course, you can really edit this and go a lot further with this. There are a whole bunch of other things, copying this to other tracks, giving different notes to different uh, to different instruments, uh, extracting melodies, riffs. There's a ton of things you can do when you've got this uh, recorded down into MIDI. So quick video for you, but there's a lot of fun that can be had with that. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you found it useful. Take care.